Good evening and welcome to BBC London News with me, Riz Latif. A man whose evidence helped convict a Metropolitan Police Commander of corruption has told us he feels betrayed by Britain. The government is set to deport Wad al-Baghdadi, who's been living in the UK for 13 years, because he came here illegally by lying about his age. He was asked to testify against the ex-Scotland Yard officer Ali Desai in two trials. And now he claims the authorities used him and are washing their hands of him. This exclusive report is from our Home Affairs correspondent, Nick Beek. A summer's evening in 2008, the man in black police uniform arriving at this Kensington restaurant is Ali Desai, a controversial Scotland Yard commander whose bosses have already spent up to £7 million investigating him for alleged corruption, but with no success. Now, with jacket off, Desai gets in an argument with a young web designer. That man was Wad al-Baghdadi. His evidence was crucial in jailing Desai. But now, eight years on, he's being thrown out of the country because he lied about his age to get in. He says British authorities knew he'd lied about his past and that he was a benefits cheat, but was still happy to use him as the key witness to convict Desai. He claims they betrayed him. They used me, they, they, they held the gun against Ali Desai and I was the bullet. So my life was destroyed. In 2010, a jury believed al-Baghdadi's evidence that he'd been framed by Desai. The officer was jailed. But the following year, a retrial was ordered after it emerged al-Baghdadi had lied about his personal details during the trial and had claimed £27,000 in benefits on behalf of his late father. Al-Baghdadi himself was then jailed. On the tip-off that Wad al-Baghdadi had committed benefit fraud, the IPCC found, it was established that the person who had originally made the anonymous allegations to the Department for Work and Pensions was the second wife of Mr. Desai. In a statement, Ali Desai told us, had his wife not reported him, he would probably still be claiming the benefits today. The Home Office wouldn't comment on the case. If his appeal fails, his future will be outside Britain. Nick Beek, BBC London News.